smoking, sitting in the clouds like a blonde sunbathing. More terpenes is all that I'm craving. I be in the sky doing circles like a watcher. Two bloods. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley. This is Certified Pie Hit. Smoking on one of my evening spliff rules. You know what we about to do, Bird Club. About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory, we're going back to the Stone Age. Today's theory is about cavemen. So let's travel back to the Stone Age, will we? When life was all about rocks, sticks, and Stand one step ahead of becoming T-Rex takeout. We've been told for centuries that fire was discovered to cook food and survive cold nights. But what if our ancient ancestors had other ideas? What if cavemen weren't just trying to roast the mammoth leg, but instead were trying to, well, roast something else? Some historians, okay, maybe just the ones with blazing imaginations, theorized that fire was invented not for survival, but for getting stoned. Yes, peeps. Before they invented the wheel, prehistoric humans may have been interested in blazing instead of rolling away. Imagine the scene. Og the caveman stumbles across a plant with a skunky smell, throws it in the fire by accident, and bam, he's just invented the world's first hot box. Forget evolving for survival. Cavemen might have evolved to chill. Here's a riddle for you. I lived long ago. My hair was a mess. No language to speak. I used hands to express. I learned to make fire with rocks and a spark. I stayed out of sight when it got too dark. Who am I? You know the classic image of a caveman rubbing sticks together to make fire? Well, what if they weren't trying to make a meal, but instead were trying to light something else? Something with a bit more buzz. Maybe the first time fire was discovered wasn't to roast mammoth, but to roast a little something that made everything taste better. Cavemen likely realized that fire had more potential than just keeping saber-toothed tigers at bay. What if it was their ancient version of a lighter? And instead of thinking dinner is served, they thought dinner is lit. I mean, how else do you explain the invention of tools if not for trying to break open a coconut to satisfy the munchies? The will? Clearly you're rolling in with in <laughs> words. Innovation. And fire? Well, that's just a prehistoric view for thoughts. Here's another riddle for you. I walked with my knuckles, then stood up tall. I lived in caves and hunted with the call. My tools were stone, my hair unbrushed. What am I before my kind was rushed? To this, right? Og and Thog, two cavemen buddies, sitting around the fire. They already tried cooking up some woolly mammoth steaks, but now they're looking for something a little more, let's say, herbal. Ock throws on a handful of a mysterious plant into the fire. Flyer, fire, fire, people. Words, people, words. And suddenly the whole cave smells like a Grateful Dead concert. They sit back, eyes glazed, and Thog turns to Og with an epiphany. Fire isn't just for food, it's for light. Thinking, man. And thus the first smoke session history was born. You know how modern day people claim weed unlocks creativity? Well, Og and Thog may have had the same idea. Before long, they were carving out rock art, drawing stick figures and bisons on cave walls, or passing around their latest prehistoric inventions. The caveman blunt. Who needs paint when you got a fire lit plant and a bunch of rock? Riddle time. Before I had language, I sure had flair. Made fire from sticks and hunted with care. My friends had clubs or nights full of smoke. I the one who shared the first tote. Now fast forward a bit. You got cavemen who discovered fire, but it's no longer just about survival. It's about socializing. Think of it like this. Instead of prehistoric humans gathering around fire to cook, they were gathering around for something way more important. Prehistoric potluck parties. If you get roasting mammoth, this was about sharing ideas, laughter, and a little bit of that leafy green plant that made everything suddenly very fascinating. Dog leans back, staring into the fire and says... Have you ever noticed how the stars kind of look like a map? Like what if the stars are trying to tell us something, man? Meanwhile, Aug is saying, I want to invent the world's first snack. A combination of forage berries, nuts, and whatever prehistoric equivalent to Funyuns they could find. Instead of cavemen fighting over fire, maybe they were all sitting around passing the fire as they share stories about 
the universe and how cool rocks are. Fire wasn't just survival. It was their version of Netflix and chill, but with way more smoking, fewer caveman rom-coms. Another riddle for you. The first to stand on two big feet, I discovered fire and learned to eat. In caves, I drew my life's big test. Which era of humans could describe me best? It's not hard to imagine how fire and cannabis might have gone hand in hand or rather hand to mouth. When cavemen discovered fire, it wasn't long before they started experimenting in many uses. Cooking? Check. Keeping warm? Sure. But the real revelation probably came when they tossed some plant into the flame and realized it made everything just a little bit funnier. Let's talk about the munchies. Because let's be honest, this is where the most of the theory is. You can bet that after a prehistoric smoke session, Og was just looking for any food. He wanted something delicious, something that will really hit the spot. Enter the earliest version of a cookout. Fire roasted mammoth, perhaps a side of whatever caveman could forage. And of course, there was always one guy who was too stoned to keep the fire going, burning the mammoth to a crisp. What's even better is that all of this creative burning led to the first real work of art, cave paintings. That was a weird way to stretch that one. You ever see those crude drawings of animals and handprints, right? Who's to say those weren't the result of prehistoric art jam sessions after one too many herbal snacks? Bro, what if we, like, painted the wall? But, like, we do it with fire. And so Caveman became the first muralist, drawing woolly mammoths and stick figure humans with the same artistic precision you see in modern day refrigerator doors. Fire was clearly a game changer for humanity. But let's not downplay the possibility that cannabis played in our ancestors' lives. If you think about it, discovery of fire and the ability to cook food helped us survive. But what if cannabis helped us thrive? Cavemen sitting around a fire might have come up with the first ever philosophy sessions. After all, you can only grunt at each other for so long before you start asking the big question. Why are we here? What's the meaning of life? And more importantly, who got more berries? We often talk about how fire was the spark of civilization. But what if it was cannabis that lit the creativity, creative fuse? From cave art to early tools, you may wonder if maybe our prehistoric ancestors were blazing their own trails in more ways than one. They didn't just use fire to keep warm. They used it to keep things lit in every sense of the word. So did cavemen? Discover fire to cook food or to get high. Well, who's to say? But one thing's for sure, fire didn't just warm their bones. It sparked creativity, social gatherings, and maybe even some deep existential conversations about the first ever campfire. Whether they were roasting mammoths or roasting a prehistoric joint, fire was more than just a survival tool. It was a way for our ancestors to connect, create, and chill. So next time you light up campfire or something else, remember... You're following in the footsteps of cavemen who were just trying to figure out life one puff at a time. Let's give a big thanks to those prehistoric pioneers for blazing the first twelves. Twelve, twelve, twelve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop talking, bro. Blazing the first trails, quite literally. The answers to the riddles, people. Homo erectus, Homo sapiens. I see y'all on the next one.